My name is Gerilyn Rodriguez, and I'm the co-founder and CEO at The Knowledge House, where our mission is to empower and sustain a talent pipeline of technologists coming from low-income communities. I started this work because I didn't want people who look like me, people from the Bronx, to be left out of the innovation economy. Our solution is to provide code and design job training to young people in the Bronx and across New York City. Here's Clarissa. Clarissa came to the U.S. from Mexico at age 12. And before the Knowledge House, she was working as a receptionist. 12 months later, after learning data science, she's now working full time as an associate software engineer at Energy Hub. And we were able to get 90% of Clarissa's classmates into their first tech job. And they were successful all while being remote learners during a pandemic. Hello, my name is Shatundra Pinkston. I'm the Community Engagement Specialist for the Knowledge House in Atlanta. Hello, everyone. My name is Cesar Cruz, and I am the Community Engagement Specialist for Los Angeles. My name is Monique Wise. I'm a Community Engagement Specialist here in Newark. And welcome to our 2023 Innovation Fellowship informational session. The Knowledge House is a Black-led female nonprofit organization founded by Gerilyn Rodriguez and Joe Carano to provide tech education and career opportunities to people in underrepresented communities. Both Gerilyn and Joe saw the need for innovative, accessible tech education to bridge the digital divide. TKH has an incredible impact on our fellows. Our 2020 Innovation Fellows currently have an average salary of $90,000. 75% of our innovation fellows land their first jobs in tech. And our graduation rate? Well, three out of four of our fellows complete the program. You can see we have served over 1,900 students and we are growing. We have just celebrated one year in our Newark, Atlanta, and LA expansion sites. TKH versus other boot camps? Well, TKH is free. Our programs are and always have been free. We won't take your income. We don't have any kind of income sharing agreements. Once you start working, our fellows in our 2021 fellowship, early placements have averaged salary of $86,667. And that doesn't include bonuses. And they get to keep everything they earn. TKH gives you time. We're a 12 month program. And it's designed that way to give you the time to learn, build and grow so that you can show the world what we already know, that you belong in tech. We also give second chance for career changes. We want those who are trying to change into and transition to tech jobs to know that TKH is a place for you to start. The Knowledge House has partnered with a number of corporate sponsors that support our programs, initiatives, and our fellows. JP Morgan, uh, Capital One, Microsoft, Accenture, just to name a few. So let's talk about our Innovation Fellowship. The Innovation Fellowship is a 12-month program that promotes and prepares fellows to be competitive for full-time tech jobs. To be considered for admissions, applicant must meet the following criteria. You must be a Newark, New York, Atlanta, or Los Angeles resident be available to participate in all of the instructions, proficient in written and spoken English, learn less than 50,000 a year individual income, have basic computer literacy skills, and possess a high school diploma or a high school equivalency. And you must go through the entire recruitment process. Who is a successful candidate? Our candidate profile is a person who is committed to 16 hours a week for in-class instruction and 12 to 15 hours of non-class activity. You can demonstrate intermediate computer literacy skills and the ability to work independently and in groups. You should also have effective time management, self-advocacy, communication, and interpersonal skills. We also want to see candidates motivated to participating and successfully completing the fellowship. We encourage entry-level professionals, students with some or no college experience, mid-career professionals interested in career transition into technology to apply to our program. 
The Innovation Fellowship promotes work-ready, entry-level tech professionals through project-based training, industry certifications, and advanced software certificates. In addition, mentorship and resource support take place in the four tracks that we offer. Applicants may choose between the data science, web development, cybersecurity, or user experience design, also known as UX UI tracks. We will get into more of what those four tracks look like in the following slides. The four program tracks that we offer, again, are data science with Python, web development, cybersecurity, and user experience design. Fellows will be able to choose a track of their choosing in the program. Now we're going to cover the four tracks offered in detail of the skills gained and what you'll learn. With track one, data science with Python. In this track, you will learn the full extent of the Python programming language. Fellows will learn how to access, clean, analyze data. Fellows will also build a strong technical foundation and get themselves familiar with the data science project lifecycle. Please take a moment to pause and take a look at the overview of skills gained with the data science with Python track. Track two, web development. In web development, fellows will be introduced to other frameworks and libraries to use. They will also be introduced to what major companies today, such as Google, Meta, Amazon, Apple, and Netflix use. Please take a moment to pause and take a look at the overview of skills gained with the web development track. Track three, cybersecurity. Fellows will learn how to implement and secure Amazon Web Services cloud infrastructure, including data platform management, configuration of services, virtual networking, storage accounts, and Amazon Web Services backups. Please take a moment to pause and take a look at the overview of skills gained with the cybersecurity track. And finally, track four, user experience design also known as UX UI. In this track, fellows will learn the fundamental skills of user experience and user interface design. Fellows approaches to user first and usability focused design will enable fellows to have a wide range of skills in UX design, UI design, and research. Take a moment to pause and look at the overview of skills gained with the user experience design track. So now that we have learned about the different tracks and you've heard a couple of times that you can gain certifications as well, and we're going to talk a little bit more about this, right? One of the certifications that's offered everybody, regardless of what track you choose, is the Amazon Web Service Cloud Practitioner Certification. The biggest three things of why you should consider earning this when you're in the program AW certified IT professionals have an average salary of 129K, which six figures sounds good to everybody. AWS has three of the 10 highest paying certifications in North America. Finally, AWS professionals are more likely to be cross certified in Microsoft and Google Cloud. That means you will be a dual threat when you're applying to the job field. Other certifications we have offered in the past are Google UX Design Certificate, ICS2s Certified in Cybersecurity, Microsoft Azure Data Fundamentals Exam, and Advanced Next JavaScript Course. Fees for these courses and exams are all taken care of by the Knowledge House. Now, I know we've talked about tracks, we talked about certifications. Let's talk a little bit about support. Because when you're at the Knowledge House, we'd like to support you in a holistic perspective. And we want to make sure you're not only learning the technical instructions, but you're also learning the skills you would need to interview for this process, right? So some of the supports that we provide, technical mock interviews, behavioral mock interviews, networking opportunities, mentoring, tutoring, building your resume, and of course, building your cover letter and portfolio. As a technologist, that's going to be really your resume overall. Besides that, we are also going to make sure that you have the tech available that you will need for completing the program. 
And keep in mind, this is on a need basis. It's not available just because you want it. It's if you need it. We want to make sure we have enough to cover everybody when they really need it. We have possibilities to support on connecting the services, but depending on the barriers that you're facing. So we have different partners in different communities that can help you out. And again, we have coaching and guidance with helping you secure internships, employment, and then, like I said before, different networking opportunities where you can start building your network before you even finish the program. I do want to stress, this course happens Monday through Thursday from 5.30 to 9.30 p.m. on Eastern Time. Additional class times will be offered for fellows in Los Angeles during the evenings, and exact tracks and schedules available are to be determined, which will be announced at a later date. Now, we've talked about support, we talked about certifications, we talked about the tracks. Let's talk about the meat and the bones of the whole process, which is the application process. You've already taken the first step. The first step is attending an information session. You have better knowledge of what to expect in the fellowship and what is part of the fellowship. After you're doing that, you're like, hey, this is definitely a program I want to apply to. Now you're going into the pre-screening, right? The pre-screening is actually you submitting the application and us making sure that you meet the eligibility requirements. After this, you receive a technical assessment. This assessment is not to test, do you have a tech background? Do you know coding? It's for us to test who you are as a learner and do you have the ability to learn independently? You pass this technical assessment, you move on to the interview. The interview is an opportunity for us to get to know you for more than what's on the application, to learn your aspirations and what you wanna do in the future, and why you think you're a good fit for our program. Finally, you got through all these four steps. What's next? Well, one last thing, you get that cherry on top where you actually get to experience the first couple of content from our program. This is where you really get a tasting of what our program is like, what type of commitment you will have to make, and where you realize, can I really make this commitment right now with everything going on in my life? Keep in mind, none of us have said at any moment that this program will be easy. Otherwise, this program is not an easy program, but if you make the commitment for yourself, it will be greatly rewarding. Remember those numbers that my colleague Monique mentioned in the beginning. So keep in mind, this is to keep you in the program, not to make sure that you are out of the program. Finally, you get through this, you pass the final assessment after the pre-training, and you show that you have the skills that we're looking for. Then we start sending acceptance emails and you move on and become a fellow. So you've learned about the application, you've learned about the tracks, you learn about what we've got to offer. If you're interested in applying to the program today, you can simply type the link into your browser or scan the QR code today and it'll take you directly to the application. But if you're like, I still have more questions before I apply, Feel free to email us at recruitment at the knowledgehouse.org. That email again is recruitment at the knowledgehouse.org. We hope to see your name in our application log soon. And hopefully we get to know you a lot better and you are one of our fellows in the near future. Have a good rest of your day and we hope to hear from you soon.